Celtic staple here. I, as you can see by the title, biggest haul ever the day. Crazy, crazy day. Couldn't believe it. Uh, I've been thrifting for years and years and I've never fun this many pieces in one day. I've fun literally like, most of this in the one place, like one shop, and that was it. Uh, it's mostly a mix of hockey, hockey bits. I think there's maybe one or two NFL bits in there, but I think it's mostly NHL, uh, 80s, 90s. They're mostly like modern reprints as well. Well, no reprints, they're like prints for like the 2004 Stanley Cup. There's Night Reebok, so the foot for the jewel, just kind of getting it. Oh no, in fact, you know what? I'm getting into this because one of my viewers had actually said to me about show off your, uh, show off your like, plushies and stuff, so, or any collectibles that you get in for the week, so I do like my collectibles as well, I collect band merch, I collect a lot of t-shirts, you know how it is though, like, I've got a t-shirt in that I've been wanting for ages, a month or two goes and the novelty wears off and I'm selling it for the next piece, but I pick up a lot of weird and wonderful plushies and books and stuff like that, so I always, I've, somebody asked about me showing that and with the clothing, so I'll do that first. So the first piece we've got is this 2015 Warcraft, uh, it's for the, the movie, based on World of Warcraft for 2015. It is missing the axe, he's got an axe in this one, he's missing, but crazy piece, this is like a £60 pound figure, or uh, $70 if we're talking American money, but Aye, crazy piece, this will be staying with me. Next piece is just daft stuff. I always like picking that up. 1994 Marvel, eh, the Rhino for Spider Man. The cool thing about this is the heat goes on it. Where is it? There it is. Aye, so it's heat goes. Classic action figure, you know. That'll be staying with me as well. The big red machine. Everybody loves a bit of cane. This is for 1998. Bought this because I love wrestling. It holds a place in my heart. Man, wrestling is good. The, I love the Attitude Era. That's the best era of wrestling. No, I don't get much. I do try and get wrestling tees in, but I don't get very much like WWF era stuff. But aye, pretty cool piece. 1998 cane with a mask. And then the last two are this wee, I don't know if it'll focus, wee Gengar, 1998. See through Gengar, crazy. I had this as a kid, and obviously, as time goes on, you lose stuff, so it was great to have this back. And then James from Team Rocket, we figure for 1998 as well. That's really, really nice, like that. So, we keep more of figures, none of that is for sale. These, on the other hand, will be. I'm still deciding what to do with these Warhammer books. No two into Warhammer myself, but. I do pick up like, do you call it, I don't know, sci-fi and stuff like that, books, so I'll either bundle them together or I'll sell them individually, but they are, they, they're quite good money as well, you can't go around with some more hammer, but I got into the actual clays now, so some of my coat hangers are a bit crap, <laughs> they're not the best coat hangers, uh, it's just to kind of hold the shape in the t-shirt so I can actually show the t-shirt off, so don't rag on me for my coat hangers, please. I do have wood, a lot of wooden ones and they're for the best pieces. I, always, I don't really hang everything up, I fold it. I'd rather see it folded than hung up because hanging it up can strain the neck and, you know, just your usual. But aye, I've got into this. So this was in the NFL lot that I got today. So these were all, I'm not going to say how much I paid because I don't believe in that. If you're wanting to go and thrift and stuff on go, but I'm not telling everybody my prices, I might tell you what I sell something for, but I'm not going to make it too easy for you and say, oh, I got it for this much, because then people use it against you when they're trying to buy something, so, aye. Si Maestly these are the size large, Stanley Cup 2011, so that's a nice piece. Let's fold these up down here. London Knights on the classic Gildens tag. Gilden Ultra Cotton. Montreal a Hockey League tee that is on Bulletin Heavyweight which is kind of 
Looks very similar to the, the older Gildens tag actually, it's, I think that's just kind of the style that they were going for with that. Uh, another bulletin piece, original six, obviously showing you your hockey teams. 1992 Stanley Cup, this is on Nutmeg Sport. Nutmeg, Nutmeg Mills they call it, there's the thing in there about that, will be for 1992. Phoenix Coyotes. Love this. The jerseys are cool, but the t-shirts are unusual. That's from Lee Sport. That was a really nice find. So this is all just mixed in, by the way. There is NHL stuff there, but there is also uh, what everything else I've picked up. So classic must-have piece. Adidas long sleeve fleece must-have for the winter. It's getting cold. So Salim Sports. Now these are. My favourite tees, I love Salim Sportswear. I've got a good few of these, I've had a good couple in and they always seem to do well, so double sided print on that as well and then a quite cool, it's got the side print, you don't really see that very often on tees where it's printed on the actual side of the t-shirt, but it's cool, single stitch on that. Cotton Traders, now this is an art piece, not necessarily worth a lot of money, but it's just so cool, you know what I mean, I love pieces like this where it's loud, it's a rugby shirt with just loud embroidery, you know, you can't beat that. That's why the 90s were better. <laughs> but North Face polo shirt, size medium, just your plain basic bread and butter. North Face, 2000s, Adidas Firebird tracksuit jacket, doesn't have the, the back embroidery but it does have the front, that's cool, it's a medium. Russell Athletic, spell out. I'm sure this is either, I think this is late 90s, spell out, army green colour, can of go wrong. Now this is a funky one, Adidas, uh, more modern day kind of tag on this one, where it's the bigger bulk of their tag. But aye, the tag's extra small on that, trippy, it's like a Diamante or a Harlequin, I don't know what you would call it, it's weird. Lacoste, Andy Murray, collaboration, these are cool, I did see a lot of these pop up, but aye. Embroidery on the back, and then it's got the big, thick uh, Lacoste logo on it, so it's the classic pieces. A brand a lot of people might not know, but Weekend Defender. They're a lot of, they're like a odd football casual brand for England. They're a lot of pieces. Uh, Mac Miller actually wore a jumper on one of his freestyles or his interviews, I'm sure, and that propelled them quite big. But uh, they're, they're staple with you within the casual scene here and I'm assuming America as well, some areas. Classic YSL, Eve St. Lillian. If I can get it to straighten out. There. Eve St. Lillian, spell it. These are everybody wants these, you know. These were originally selling in Sports Direct in the UK, so shout out Sports Direct. They used to have some fire items. Nike. Manning jersey, just your basic New York Giants, you know, embroidery all over. Really, really nice material, rubbery neck. But all of these will be, everything will be available on Depop and eBay, but I will need to get around to listening on this. I'm kind of spacing this out and I should have more pieces in soon, but I'm just spacing these out as, as long as I, c I can with it upload, because you don't want to upload 70 items in a day and totally thingy people's speed, I like to spread that out a wee bit, but with an old style, uh, the Colts, another hockey piece, Reebok, I got quite a few of these Reebok tees, these are cool though, like the newer prints with the, where it's actually printed on, if you ever see a tag like this, where it's printed on to the neck, it's no vintage, like, People will tell you it is blah blah blah, but it's never vintage. They didn't print like this in the 90s and that. Then they would always have a swing tag, no the neck printing. But it's just one thing I notice a lot of people try and pass that off as vintage. But obviously, there's still money in there. Modern pieces as well. People try and avoid them, but I don't really mind. As long as it's nice and it looks cool, then that's all I need. You know, I don't need to bother I do kind of specialise in vintage but I do like some modern pieces as well you kind of just say because something's modern it's no comfortable like there is a lot of modern brands but buying second hand it is a lot better for the environment and it's a lot better for 
help out smaller people, like smaller sellers, and you don't want to always be giving your money to like the likes of big companies like JD and stuff like that. You want to actually help out with your brands and your your friends, your local pals, anything like that. Anybody that's doing it yourself should support them. But if another Calgary's, this is a 90s tea on CGW, so I'm assuming it's just the Calgary's um, label may print on the back on that one, but that's nice. Stanley Cup Champions 2000, don't even the date on that one, eh? No, 20, 2015. Reebok, new back print on that. Last Reebok, Stanley Cup 2017. Not even sure of the name of this. Tigers. They. I'm not even too sure. See, I do like my. Uh, hockey stuff and that, but I don't specialise in it. It's not like uh, I know every and I know every single team, every logo, you know. But I some nice pieces here, definitely. I feel like this one's on waves. The tag for this is just alone. The tag itself is worth buying. <laughs> like sometimes I will just buy stuff just for the tag because I do like the the vintage tags. There's a lot of cool tags out there. Where if you don't already follow uh, at Tags and Threads on Instagram, they do like a compilation post all of the different sellers, uh, tag them with their, their brand tags and showing off vintage labels that might, people maybe don't know about or they're not too, like, I've seen a good few labels on there that I didn't know about and I started picking the stuff up because I've seen it on there, so I. You do find a lot, but aye, there's a lot of these original six National Hockey League tees. There's one in grey and one in black of that, I'm sure, in there. There's no date on these, but they are really, really old, like 90s. We want another modern piece, Vancouver Canucks. I've heard of them before, aye. There we go. We bought, I've got two of these. These are absolutely class. I love uh, pro players stuff, so I'll show these one at a time here. Wayne Gretzky, the great one, double sided print, that's a black pro players and then it's not the exact same tee but there is a very similar print in white, crazy crazy piece just showing off all his accomplishments and stuff in the game but I love pieces like that where it's a thick neck and it's a really really thick cotton t-shirt you know that's what you want, you don't want to be walking about with some wee thin poxy t-shirt on but aye, the original six Again, I think this is, or maybe this, no, this is the World Cup of Hockey, sorry, apologies. And that is on classic apparel, just basic tag. But aye, we're getting, we're getting down to the boat now of these. Picked up roughly about 20, I think it was around 25 hockey pieces, but uh, show off made of the hockey stuff first. 2004 World Cup of Hockey with the centre tick. Big patch logo there as well, that's all embroidered in. Cool piece that, and then it's got the, the detailing at the back as well there. Let me double check what these last ones are. Here we go. This is the last of the hockey stuff. So, Capitals, history, Stanley Cup history. That is on Fanatics. And then another Reebok, Chicago Blackhawks. Champion Stanley Cup tee. So I done really really well with that. The biggest haul I've ever had in hockey t-shirts, but we're not at the end yet. But still a good few pieces. These Aqua Scoot my London uh, women's shirt. It's a size 36. Sorry, it's size 34. So it's very very small, but still fire to find. Some maybe keep this aside until summer season again when. Everybody's wanting these kind of pieces for festivals, but I will upload this probably as well, just in the off chance somebody wants it. Uh, no vintage, but another nice piece. Dragon Ball Z, classic. Everybody loves about uh, Dragon Ball Z. It's probably one of the, the first animes that everybody got into. It's like, because it was so popular here in America and uh, even in Europe, it was pretty popular as well. But I'll probably keep this, I don't know, quite warm, but probably keep that and then my favourite piece of everything that I found today has to be this 1992 no sorry 1991 on qualities just love anything Native American and then I love that fade it's like the fade for grey to black 
and off with black to grey and it goes that like it's just so nice honestly like love it just even the tag black on black and it's fading out i thought at first this was a 3d emblem tea because it is very very similar like if you've seen this and then a 3d emblem you'd be like whoa but still a good good find crazy crazy stuff but i'm super happy with the day's haul and i can't i can't ask for anything else it's so good being able to just go out every day find new things and you never know what you're going to find because i went out today with no expectations of finding a huge haul basically somebody's entire hockey collection you know but i never thought that i would go out today and go oh and i ended up sore for carry and everything because it was so much stuff but i'm so grateful thanks to everybody that's watching the videos liking subscribing anything at all if you share the video it means the world it honestly does if you're picking up anything if you don't already know we're on <laughs> uh, apologies that is my air freshener we're on a uh, depop as docs depot we're on instagram as docs vintage and we're also on ebay as docs vintage as well so there's plenty of places you can pick things up for us. Uh, you can even contact us and we'll arrange payment through Instagram. You can do it any way you want to do. We tend to ship, well, I tend to, if something comes in, I've packed it and ready to ship within the hour. So we're quick, quick on the ball. That's all day, every day, just pick up stuff, go out, post stuff, find more stuff. You know, that's, that's the game. But if you enjoyed the video today, be sure to drop a like be sure to share this around please if you drop in the comments what your favorite piece for this video was my personal favorite sis always got to be but i've always got to be native american kind of western style tees i love stuff like that but i drop us a comment and peace hope you enjoyed it see you later